Hasbro's G.I. Joe team just hosted a Q&A roundtable with some various websites around the internet, and boy, was it a doozy. Let's get right into it. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by, and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collecting. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Okay, so let's not waste any time because time is of the essence. It's Tuesday night and here we are and uh, HisTank.com along with some other outlets have posted um, part of the Hasbro Q&A roundtable that they were a part of. I'm sure there were some other outlets available, but his tank was his tank.com was one of the um, uh, uh, outlets that were invited to take part in this uh, Q&A roundtable uh, where they get to, um, I guess, meet up over Zoom and ask the Hasbro team some questions. The Hasbro team, the Hasbro G.I. Joe team may or may not answer any of those questions, but they did answer a bunch. They did give out a lot of information, and we're going to break it down line by line, but we are not going to bury the lead here. We're going to get straight to it, and that is the first bit of business here. Airborne is not part of the HasLab. It will not be the final tier figure unveiled. Now, I've kind of been saying that this whole time. Uh, I know that his name and uh, his team role worked out as far as the X's, if you counted them. I know that that worked out. But to me, it just never made sense to have Airborne and um, Ripcord both be in the same HasLab because they're very similar characters. In my opinion, it's just my opinion. And what does that matter? I'm just a guy on the internet rambling about toys. So what do I know? But, uh, but yeah, we, it has now been confirmed. I mean, it is there in black and white. Airborne will not be a part of the HasLab Dragonfly as the last unlock and will be a mainline G.I. Joe classified action figure release. There it is in black and white. We don't have to speculate any further. He's not there. So if the X's are to line up, it has to be General Hawk. There's nobody else. Uh, Clayton M. Abernathy. There's nobody else that's name fits. That's it. That's who we're getting. But again, I've told you guys, if I'm wrong, I'll eat my shoe. So there you have it. But we are going to uh, get into the rest of this information. We're going to get that was the that was the headline. We're not going to bury it. Let's that was it. That's the big thing. So um, but while that may be disappointing to some, the good thing to take from that is the fact that it does confirm that we are getting airborne in the mainline release. Heck, he could possibly be one of the characters we see um, get revealed tomorrow. They may even show that figure off, or they may just show off a render. Who knows? But that's a really good thing. He's not going to be locked behind uh, a HasLab. Not that they would lock the classic you know, airborne behind the HasLab anyway. Uh, it would have been like a different version. But anyway, let's go on to see what else that they talk about. They talk about there will also be a second name only figure announced today, so stay tuned. So that may happen. Here it is. I'm recording this video about 7 p.m. Eastern. That could happen tonight. As we've seen the, the last three weeks, um, there's been a lot of reveals or leaks on Tuesday night for the figures that are coming out because various websites get them and they leak and they get out there. So we'll probably get to see who that character is sometime tonight. But even if we don't, even if it doesn't leak out, it's okay. We'll find out tomorrow between 11 and 12 Eastern. Um, so let's see here. The next point of business, there will be a His Tank 788 Fire Team 3-pack that will be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Now, I think, I think we have actually already seen these figures. Uh, there was a lot of people who pointed this out to me on my video when I was doing the video about the, uh, the secrets of um, the most recent reveals. And I was talking about like what was the briefcase and all the little black things on low lights package. Now I did notice these characters in the background and a lot of people were like, well, why didn't you talk about them? And it was because I couldn't really figure out who they were. I should have just thrown it in there anyway and just been like, hey, there's some cool characters in the background. Don't know what they are. I think that's what this is. This, that they show three characters. Um, 
They look like they're part of uh, a fire team, clearly, and they're searching at night. And his tank, we know, has all those light up features and has the, the searchlight on the bottom with like the little cobra head. So I think this is a sly way of sneaking those in there. I think that's what this is. I think we've seen that already. Um, we do have some new pre-orders confirmed for tomorrow and a special guest host for tomorrow's stream will be present. That's really cool. They went on to talk about the San Diego Comic-Con panels. Uh, they'll have a very important G.I. Joe panel with new renders. That's really cool. Um, something else, this is kind of disappointing, but the G.I. Joe O-ring line is on hold until further notice. That's kind of sad to me. Uh, but at the same time, my wallet is a little thankful because it's kind of hard to, you know, buy the G.I. Joe O-rings, buy those vehicles that are in scale, buy the six inch classified. And if you're a Super 7 G.I. Joe collector, you're buying three lines of G.I. Joe figures. Oh, four if you count Mezco's 112th collective versions. There's a lot of Joe going around. Uh, so while I'm pretty sad about that and they just launched the, the Sky Striker, you know, Man, people are getting that. I don't know. I'm a little bit sad about it, but hopefully it'll come back in the future. Uh, the next point of business is the Hiss Tank HasLab, as of right now, is still on schedule for a fall delivery. That is amazing. That's really cool. So kudos out there to everybody who uh, backed the Hiss Tank uh, and uh, who will be getting one this, this fall. That's, uh, that's great news. Uh, they said that hand-painted HasLab Dragonfly samples were shown off for the first time and looks almost identical to the renders. Stay tuned for the official Dio Desert images. That's really cool. That means they've probably already got it painted up. They've already done their Dios and they've already shot a bunch of promo images. So maybe we'll see those tomorrow. That'll be really cool. Um, the G.I. Joe brand team is looking for feedback on creating new, never before seen vehicles for the classified line. Never before seen. So are we going to be getting vehicles that are potentially like never been before released? Like there were concept images back in the 80s and 90s and never got around to making them. Is it something brand new that we've never seen before? Um, I don't know how I feel about that because the Joe line has always been about world building and vehicles and play sets. And so I feel like there's a wealth of vehicles out there that they could pull from that they could, you know, that they could give us. Um, instead of giving us stuff that's brand new and made up, but I'm here for it. Whatever they want to give us, let's see what it looks like. And if it's good enough, it goes on the shelf. And you know, you vote with your wallets, people. You know, it's you don't have to get everything. You can cherry pick, buy what you like. Uh, they went on to say that Serpentor and Doctor Mindbender uh, are no longer available for reproduction. And the G.I. Joe team would like to hear feedback on the repaints and redesigns of these two figures the fans would like to see in the future. So I don't really know why uh, that um, Dr. Mindbender and Serpentor are no longer available for reproduction. Maybe they're just taking them out of production and they're not going to make them as we know it uh, anymore. Um, that's, you know, I've had a Dr. Mindbender that is still on has Hasbro Pulse just waiting. I mean, I've got, I've had one for a long time now, but I have a second one that's just sitting around and lingering and I don't think that thing's ever going to ship. So maybe that's what's going on there. But they're asking for feedback. I guess eventually they'll be asking us for feedback in an official manner um, to how we would like to see these figures repainted and repurposed in the future. So it looks like we'll, they will be using the molds again, maybe with nominal uh, new molded parts and pieces um, maybe you're not going to get all the accessories that came with Dr. Mindbender. Maybe you're going to, you know, not get the chariot again with Serpentor. But again, what's Serpentor without his chariot? But um, I don't know. Like, I'm not super familiar with all the different repaints of um, Serpentor and Dr. Mindbender without going to, like, yojo.com or, you know, 3D Joe's or, you know, somewhere to, like, you know, go back in time and, like, refresh my memory. It's been, like, 35 years since I've played with G.I. Joe's. Actually, it was like this morning, but you know, um, but yeah, you guys tell me down in the comments down below, like which versions of Serpentor and Dr. Mindbender you'd like to see, um, because that could be a valuable, uh, you know, information for Hasbro to, uh, to glean. Cause we all know Hasbro, the Hasbro G.I. Joe team watches this channel. Of course they do. Um, they're probably mad that I figured out that it's Hulk. Uh, among other people, it's not just me. Uh, let's see here. The G.I. Joe brand team is currently working on the 2025 lineup of G.I. Joe classified products, world building, and how they're going to expand the line even further. I hope this means play sets, play sets, play sets, play sets, and play sets. That's what I want. Give me some checkpoints. Give me some battle encampments. Give me some like little... Um, 
rustic like bush tents or checkpoints or battle armaments i'm i'm here for it gun emplacements jetpack uh landing pads whatever i i want some play sets that would be what i want play sets more than i want vehicles i don't know if i'm the only one in that camp but uh but yeah that's um that's that's really cool that they're thinking about expanding the the, the classified line into that and um then it says <clears throat> the gi joe brand team really likes the retro carded gi joe classified figures by the way i'm going to be posting videos next week uh this week and next week of the retro carded zartan and storm shadow so stay tuned for that uh so the gi joe brand team really likes the retro carded gi joe figures looking for a way to make that available to a wider audience if possible in the future so maybe that means outside of walmart um because i don't know about you guys but my every walmart in my town is still peg warming with lady j destro gung-ho uh and baroness and i had to order uh, uh storm shadow and zartan online i've never seen them in stores so yeah bring on more of those because they're more toy accurate they're more cartoon accurate and i dig it and i'm here for it and i love that line so whoo that was a lot of stuff uh and this is just round one apparently there's another round of q a that's going to happen tonight and i tell you what if it happens before my bedtime because i am uh 47 years old i go to bed like by 10 30 i'm out so if it happens before then i'll definitely post a video if not I'll do a video in the morning uh, and talk about all that kind of stuff, especially if there's any leaks and anything that happens tonight. But as tomorrow is our last Yojo Wednesday in Yojo June, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a doozy. And I wouldn't be uh, surprised if they dropped a hint at who that final tier is going to be for the HasLab. Probably a big, big hint, uh, whether it's General Hawk or not. So, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to me ramble about this. I super appreciate it. Please hit us up over at Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark. And remember, I will see you in the toy aisles. <laughs>